What is going on, YouTube? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review the second collaboration album by Jelly Roll and Struggle Jennings. Basically, this project is called Waylon and Willie 2, and it came out in the spring of 2018. So Jelly Roll is particularly blowing up throughout the 2010s decade. He did some collaboration albums with Lil White and folks like that as far as that pitch can happen. He had a series of hit mixtapes. I've re uh, reviewed at least one of those, which was Whiskey, Weed, and Waffle House. Some of those type pitches. A lot of good classic material from Jelly Roll as far as those pitches can happen. One of his wingmen, pretty good cat as well, that does some country rap. And the alternative type stuff would be Struggle Jennings. Pretty good pitch, kind of get that. This would have to say. Now, there are four of these particular albums, just to say it's a good concept, but there wasn't just a couple of these. This is a classic album here, just what I'd say. It's kind of an under, it's kind of an under talked about and underappreciated type project to kind of get here. Back in 2018, Jelly Roll was less mainstream as far as those pitches kind of happened. He was still a little bit more hungry on the come up. And it's interesting just because this. This is kind of country rap as far as those pitches kind of happen. It's kind of an in between of like country pop, some of those type fairs as far as that particular kind of happens. Now, I reviewed a particular album by Jelly Roll back in April or late March, and it was like a, a beautiful disaster, which was a pretty good pitch. And that was kind of on Tech Nine's label, had some of that particular Tech Nine type of sound. This folks like Cut. Folks like Hobson and Tech Nine, some of that type of rumination on here. This is another one of those personal type records similar to Tech Nine, Hobson. Eminem, some of those type of folks, Struggle Jennings does a pretty good job with this as well. So this is kind of like a country rap album with like some country pop kind of sheens as far as those pitch kind of happen. It has a lot of good uh, commercial breakthroughs as far as that was particularly going to happen. And this feels strange that this particular product did not chart on like the Billboard 200 or any remote chart like that. I mean, it had like some decent chart appeal with like the, in, the U.S. indie chart and the U.S. heat chart, which is kind of for more folks like kind of more in like independent labels and pitches like that. But this is actually, this is like a dynamite kind of grab here, I would have to say. This is a very underappreciated one. It's kind of the pitch behind it. When you think of like quality folks like Ouija Mac or Cut Calhoun, some of those type of folks, Hops and some of those type of folks that drop like classic albums, despite the fact that they do not, hit, they do not hit like huge on like the billboard and like pitches like that commercial buy. I feel like Jelly Roll eventually crossed over. Struggle Jennings definitely pretty excellent wingman on here. It's not to say he doesn't have commercial bite of his own, but Jelly Roll does most of these hooks. It's, it's pretty good appeal because the chemistry is pretty tight on this particular product. Definitely appreciate the concept. This, these, this, this is an Apple type one. Two country rappers that nail it particularly excellently just within the pitch. So yeah, this album gets a classic score. I'd have to say pretty much like out of the 11 songs in this particular mixtape, recommend every single song but one. That's kind of the concept behind it, but I look after it. This overall has a lot of good buy. And the thing about it was, is just the fact that they dropped numerous kind of music videos from this product. So I want to say it had some decent promotion about it. There is at least one song that particularly charted, got some certifications from like downloads as far as those pitches going to happen in terms of like the song appeal and the, the relative. I mean, that was an early hit for Jelly Roll as far as that particular going to went. Probably one of his earliest ones that had like his commercial crossover breakthrough. That would be Fall in the Fall. But yeah, to basically recommend the songs on this album, the only real song I don't recommend in any fashion is just The Shovel. Talk about that one. That's just kind of a tensive type song. Has a lot of dramatic type flair. A little bit of like, this one just kind of feels more of like The Shovel particularly feels like an underground rap type song, which is definitely a good thing, but just the concept behind it. It's differential from the rest of this particular product. There are at least a couple songs on here that have some country trap about them. I feel like Monster particularly does that a little bit better. But I feel like the shovel just didn't handle it nearly as well. I mean, it's a good song within the sense if it had been on like a standard Jelly Roll album, I look after it. I mean, it's a change of pace, I would say. Most of the sound is pretty glazed and like autumn drenched. This album is pretty glazed and like autumn evening drenched as far as that particular pitch kind of happens. Just a lot of that simmering type brush in terms of like between September to about December, I'd have to say. It was just kind of the concept about it. But the shovel is definitely one that feels like a more, not necessarily horror core, but within that neighboring community. But I don't know, it's just it's kind of like a tensive type one, dramatic type one, just kind of fuck the haters pitch just like that as far as that particular one goes, but just the affability behind it and this it the the tone behind it just kinda it's a it's kind of a different breath of fresh air as far as those pitches kinda happen, but it's kind of a different breath of fresh air as far as those pitches kinda happen, but I look after it. I I question like fitting like the rest of the theme of this product, how often I'd come back to this within the tone behind it. That's really the only real minus to this particular product. It's not even really a full-blown minus. It's more a question of how often I'd be in the mood for that particular one. But it's pretty, I do like the production, the kind of brooding and this kind of this overall haunting type production on that one. This different tone from the rest of this album, I'd have to say. But... <clears throat> So yeah, I'm going to talk about some of the singles. There were five music videos from this product. So those songs were Fall in the Fall, Feeling No Pain, Young Gun, Love One, and Can't Go Home. 
to the song that got like the chart certification was Fall in the Fall. It's like a malaise kind of autumn grazer. I would definitely feel like it's like a basic kind of makeshift commerce. I'd have to say great smoke one and enjoy like the brushy type feel out and about in the outdoors as far as those pitches can happen. Just the autumn air and pitches like that is a good concept. It's <clears throat> it's definitely extremely affable to be able to get some of this just within the tone of like standard kind of commerce. It's a good concept to <clears throat> kind of have like as country rap started to get a lot more popular with folks like Bubba Sparks and Colt Ford, some of those type of folks, other folks that were kind of doing that throughout the 2010s. There's some real good glaze about it. This really feels like something that Yellow Wolf would have done or pitches like that just within a ton of a little bit more pop rap type of appeal or at least country pop type of appeal. I look after it. This really feels great for like 4.35 p.m. in like September, October, just some of those type of fears just being able to get it. Struggle Jennings and Jelly Roll do a great job on this particular song. It's an apple type one. So Jelly Roll does a lot of these hooks on here. They have like that crossover appeal. So if you're used to Jelly Roll circa 2022 for this, like an early taste of that from way back in 2018, I'd say it's a good concept. Kind of get some of that. Feeling No Pain is a nice one. I like this song a little bit. The thing about this particular product is just the fact that the songs on here are excellent, but there's not really like a nightclub smash as far as that pitch kind of goes. A lot of this is Sunset Gaze in this countryside where it is country rap, but this is kind of the concept that in terms of you're looking for something that's going to be like keg type music or just overall get get completely crazy, blitzed off of like hard liquor, some of that type of or bar hop and some of that type of mess. doesn't really have that as much full blown with the exception of the song Rodeo, but I do feel like feeling no pain is at least a little bit more of like an, a mildly energized type one. It's like a glazed kind of evening commerce. I would feel like countryside traffic and thoughts. I would definitely have to say a good concept for just like some standard rumination, just out and about and just kind of traverse with this within the outback type fair, or just modest kind of, day commute as far as that kind of goes it's like a smoke nice get some barbecue food as far as those pitch kind of happen get some barbecue through the drive through something like that and this is just a very autumn type feel about it so <clears throat> a lot of this is just pretty simmering for like the fall this is an excellent type concept kind of get a lot of these this one just has a pretty i like the i like the riffs on this particular song this really kind of glazed this feels like something feeling no pain has a real snarled kind of riffage on here that just works pretty well young guns pretty nice one as well as like a simmering kind of sunset gazing out back commute and out so it definitely feel like pretty goes pretty well with like fall in the fall and love one i'd have to say it's like a glaze kind of get supplies and vanilla day activity of a song i'd have to say Young Gun's a little bit more of like a simmery type one. It's not quite as malaise. It's like fall in the fall, but it's definitely a good one-two punch to kind of get some of these. Just appreciate like sunset and countryside as far as those pitches kind of happen. This great late summer between like late August and November type tones. It's a lot of these. Love One's a nice one as well. Love One's a pretty highlighted one as well. It's like a brooding and kind of sobering country pop makeshift of a song. I would definitely feel like country pop rap makeshift of a song that i'd say it's like a real talk song i would definitely feel like this really has like that draw just like something you see in like a movie trailer where the piano is just playing and this is really kind of like time to get serious type song it's real nice tone about that one just pulls out the vibes not cheesy the way it does there it's not too sobering i mean it's a sobering song but it's not within the pitch of it being lame or something like that it's like a get straight and kind of everyday type feel about this particular one so it's some more kind of makeshift just within the tone behind it a lot of this sounds pretty job centric i look after this it's a good concept kind of have that commerce of this uh, like i feel like this is a little bit more blue collar compared to like the recreational type for there are some moments for that but a lot of this this feels perfect for like the hours between about 3 o'clock p.m. to about 8 o'clock p.m. with a few exceptions of like 9 and 10 o'clock, like the shovel, rodeo, and some of those type ones, and maybe monster, I'd have to say, just some good concepts for some of those. But yeah, there there is a little bit of night, there is a little bit of nightlife on here, just or at least like electric, a little bit of like jive just to be able to have like some turn up, but it's just not as commonly. A lot of this is just perfect kind of late day, early evening type makeshift. So look after but it pulls it off well it definitely has like the pop rap i mean this is a good niche gonna have this is original back in 2018 just their grab it's their particular grabs to get some commercial bite as far as that kind of goes it's real affable can't go home some other highlighted ones like a hazy swash kind of makeshift late day outings i would feel like it's definitely like a grab some grub kind of smoking like the brush here i'd have to say it's some good rumination it's definitely like a bleary kind of after hours just malaise it just got done with work some of those type tones it's something that tech nine would have done in like a more country rap kind of sense i feel like this has very similarities to like that sort of rumination that eminem tech nine hops and kind of do just without the horror type feels of some of those i just that same in particular it's kind of like a recovery type a recovery era from Eminem type style just with a little bit of country rap in mind just that particular glaze a little bit more outback and heartland type of feel about it good concept for that 
Yeah, that's a particular concept as far as like the promotion of this album kind of went. So yeah, five music videos definitely was attempted to make this promoted pretty well. Like the concept just because Struggle Jennings is not necessarily as full blown kind of talked about just within the complete commercial aspects about it. So it's a good concept just being able to say that he he had some good appeal. A lot of these songs did have over several million plays on YouTube and pitches like that. And on Spotify, like Fall in the Fall has over 63 million plays. So it's just excellent type fair that this actually did get a, a relative kind of good good commute of attention yeah I talk about some of these on here so i do appreciate rodeo quite a bit it's like a brash and kind of wild countryside evening pep i would definitely feel like it's like a get crunk kind of as long as like a get crunk kind of primer situate for the night and good friday noise kind of get here so this is one of the few ones that kind of feels like full-blown kind of getting ready to get turned up but I, I feel like even for this one it's not really amongst like the 10 o'clock midnight type of feel of being amongst the night just the full-blown carnage of it. it's just kind of a concept of just the the cruise there and just the, af the apple type energy of just getting ready to get turned up a little bit and have some good vibes maybe grab some grub on the way there some of that type fair another song that's pretty similar to that would be ain't living long this has the same type of appeal not quite as brash as rodeo but just within the same affluence same vein as that particular one this is definitely like an evening kind of after work shift calmer so i would feel like Quick times, kind of enamor, I definitely would have to say. Just enjoy the times, some good pitches like that. It's kind of some glaze, kind of hard rock nice just to be able to have here. So this one, this kind of feels like some standard bar hopping just without actually being at the bar. It's kind of the in-between. It's kind of the commute of the in-between just to traverse of not necessarily the commerce of just, okay, we were at this bar, we're going to the next one. So get back in the car, listening to music again. It's like some in-between type fairs of just sipping or smoking in the car, basically just kind of hang out, get some grubs and pitches like that. But yeah, I, I really feel like that's probably the, the one of the few things that this album lacks, despite the fact that I'm going to give this album like a 10 out of 10. It does lack like a nightclub smash, something that could have been like the dance-off type craze. It doesn't really have like, the for like i've been saying the, the ferocious kind of appeal behind it it it's good commerce and this overall activity but like it just doesn't have like the dance if you're looking for something like ushers yeah or like 50 cents in the club some of that type of pitch it's not really within that but it, it does have some good commerce and this overall in between type moments and this the vibes and the feel of this particular album is pretty emphatic i guess it's a good concept Go Back's another nice one. This is like a morose but poppy kind of nostalgia too. And I'd have to say it's like a good crossover grab. I would definitely feel like this has some makeshift gleam about it. And it goes well with Love One. I would definitely have to feel like same kind of sobering type production on here. Just real kind of real talk type song. It's pretty dope one. Go Back is basically like some sobering kind of reflective type tones. Kind of get here some good rumination. Another nice one to kind of smoke. Appreciate the times and realize that you know things are going by as far as those pitches going to happen just within the aspect behind it. It's a real nice time to kind of get here. Appreciate the appeal behind this one. Just a real, it's a nice real talk song to kind of get. Hello, Darlin's another highlight as well as like a simmering kind of country pop evening activity. I would feel like it's like a good makeshift dredge. I'd have to say some Aaron's music and a good song to put work into. This is a song that's not necessarily amongst the embrace of just got done with work and the relief behind it, but this is just kind of one where it's just a late day, some pitches like that, just the standard fare. I mean, I would suppose within senses, this kind of feels like more that things are not quite as done as some wrap up and just the overall tone of just kind of lacing things, just being able to kind of have like some activities that are just some lacing up and some overall activities that got to get taken care of, just finish, put the finishing touches, put work in some of those type tones just within the evening type senses, some standard drear. Reminds me of like songs like Fall in the Fall, just not quite as, reminds me of songs like Fall in the Fall and Can't Go Home, just not quite as much relief in mind. I'd have to suppose in particular, just a little bit still more like, still in, still in work guard, still amongst the makeshift, I'd have to say, as far as those pitches kind of have a good concept for that. And then Monster's a differential type one too. And then Monster's a differential type one as well. I'd have to say this one is very similar to The Shovel, but just a better affable type one within that tone. It's like a country trap kind of evening unwind, I would definitely feel like. This is like a steady flip mode from like the work shift, I would feel like in particular a good concept for that. And it's like a get crunk kind of mildly riled pop grab, I would have to say. Once again, this is more of like a looming type one. Some good commerce to kind of get here just within the tone of just the, the excitement of getting ready to step out a little bit and have some time as far as those pitch going to happen. But it's not really it's like the craziness. It's a good concept of, it's a good aspect of, yeah, tonight might be a little bit crazy, but it's just kind of a more primer for that sort of sense as opposed to like some of these ones. I feel like this is a good combination. This is just a country trap variation of like a song like Rodeo or Ain't Living Long. So there is some excitement type ones of just some primers for, yep, yeah, done with work shift. Just the excitement, calling up your homies and pitches like that, figuring out what's going to happen. Figure out what ladies are going to be around some pitches like that as far as that particular line goes. It's, 
some relative just primers as far as that kind of goes along with it. So, yeah, I look after that this particular album. So it's a good Apple type of PL classic album. I'm going to give this album a 10 out of 10. I look after the social score. That's kind of tricky. I mean, I feel like the appeal behind it, this is definitely some good accompaniment to like job life and blue collar type fair blue collar type fair and like a country pop type sense definitely has the affability the commercial spark on here is really crazy just the aspect behind jelly rolls this overall crossover appeal and that and the overall great chemistry with struggle jennings just the way that these two kind of blend that particular style and trailblaze a lot this is a very important and kind of trailblazing type album that did a lot for helping push a, a long country rap and country pop as far as those pitches kind of happened throughout the late 2010s early 2020s i look after in terms of like the overall impact of the social score i feel like there's some gems on here like i feel like there's primer songs like monster the shovel rodeo ain't living long some of those type ones but it just does not have like a song that's really amongst like the true craze of the night like one that's just going to get you completely excited that you're really going to get torn up to and pitch like that it, it's good it's like yeah it's going to be a crazy night but it's not really this is making me get crazy you know it's just kind of things that's the only real thing about it there's plenty of good evening dredge on here some makeshift that just the relief that just gotten done with the responsibilities even a few songs in here that are missed the responsibility some of those type tones it's a good concept of just like that standard fare and just it's a good accompaniment once again in loud pack for standard blue collar type fair pitches like that but i'm gonna go ahead and give the social score like a 9.25 out of 10 so i feel like these songs are quality but it just lacks like that you know that dance smash or just like a real club craze of one that really gets you carnivorous that's just kind of the concept i look after it in terms of the future like jelly rolls apparently getting ready to drop an album in october 2024 which is a pretty good pitch i think he's been dropping like buzz songs or pitches like that so we'll have to see what happens with that struggle jennings not as sure we'll have to look into some of these i know he dropped an album in 2023 or something like that so i'm gonna have to get to some of his solo albums and a few more of these way on early projects as far as that particular one goes but this is this is a classic here this underappreciated one recent day classic just within the tone behind it i would definitely have to say this kind of one doesn't get like the full-blown shine appreciation that it probably needs but I look after this is kind of the concept it's just because of how low-key it is but it has the promotion has the aspects behind it. it's just an overall fun and relatively it's an overall fun and just as aspect is like some good brush and just overall makeshift and some overall makeshift and job friendly type of feel that goes a long way i'd have to say this overall great buzz and just good vibes within this particular autumn base project